West African nations prepare to send troops to restore democracy in Niger. Indian PM Modi triumphs in no confidence vote amid criticism over handling of ethnic conflict. China exposes suspected CIA spy, emphasizing concerns about citizens' recruitment abroad. Walmart linked bank customers left stranded, desperate as access to funds remains blocked. Hundreds seek shelter amid Hawaii wildfires devastation, while communities grapple with loss and uncertainty. British PM Rishi Sunak takes the wheel in media blitz to defend citizens against environmental policies. West African nations prepare to send troops to restore democracy in Niger. Tensions are escalating between Niger's new military regime and the West African regional bloc that has ordered the deployment of troops to restore Niger's flailing democracy. The ECODAS bloc said on Thursday it directed a standby force to restore constitutional order in Niger after its Sunday deadline to reinstate ousted President Mohamed Bazoum expired. It's unclear when or where the force will deploy and which countries from the 15-member bloc would contribute to it. After the ECOBOAS meeting, neighboring Ivory Coast President Alassane Ouattara said his country would take part in the military operation, along with Nigeria and Benin. Indian PM Modi triumphs in no-confidence vote amid criticism over handling of ethnic conflict. Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi on Thursday easily defeated a vote of no confidence taken by the opposition over his handling of a deadly ethnic conflict in Manipur, and in a two-hour speech dismissed the move as a vain attempt to defame India. More than 180 people have been killed, many hundreds more wounded, and tens of thousands rendered homeless since May in Manipur. But Modi failed to publicly address the violence until last month. The no-confidence vote, moved by a new, Congress-led opposition alliance called NDA, was easily defeated as expected, with opposition lawmakers walking out of the legislature in protest even before the motion was put to a vote. China exposes suspected CIA spy, emphasizing concerns about citizens' recruitment abroad. China has uncovered a Chinese national suspected of spying for the Central Intelligence Agency, its state security ministry said on Friday, highlighting what it said were the risks and dangers of Chinese citizens being recruited abroad. The Chinese national surnamed Zheng, who had worked for a military industrial group, was recruited by a CIA agent based in Italy, the ministry said in a statement posted on its WeChat channel. The CIA agent sought sensitive information about the Chinese military from Zheng, according to the statement. It did not say when the events took place. U.S.-China relations have soured in recent years over a range of issues, including national security. Washington has accused Beijing of espionage and cyber attacks a charge that China has rejected. China has also declared it is under threat from spies. Walmart-linked bank customers left stranded, desperate as access to funds remains blocked. Customers of a bank linked to Walmart are reporting they are still blocked from accessing their funds, leaving them in desperate financial straits. Green Dot Banking Group customers say they have gone days, and in some cases weeks, with holds on their accounts. Florida resident Mary Cannon said she's still having trouble. Cannon has been unable to access her IRS tax refund of more than $7,000 since mid-July. She said there remains a suspicious activity hold on her account that she believes is erroneous and that she has been unable to resolve with the bank. A Green Dot spokesperson said in an email that there was no system or platform outage. Funtred seek shelter amid Hawaii wildfires devastation, while communities grapple with loss and uncertainty. A long line of at least 100 cars stretched towards Maui's War Memorial Stadium on Thursday, even as the shelter began reaching capacity. Scores of FAQs have arrived here and set up camp after wildfires tore through the Hawaiian island, destroying entire neighborhoods and leaving many residents with nowhere to stay. People have to bring their own bedding to the shelter, so many are sleeping on bare cots and air mattresses. Tom Leonard has lived in Lahaina for 44 years. He has been staying at the shelter for the past two days after losing all of his possessions. He has no idea where he will go next. Hundreds are said to be missing. At least 55 people have died and that number is expected to rise. Getting in contact with loved ones has been made even more challenging by the fact mobile service on the island has been unreliable. British PM Rishi Sunak takes the wheel in media blitz to defend citizens against environmental policies. Posing inside a car that was once owned by the esteemed conservative figure Margaret Thatcher, British Prime Minister Rishi Sunak 
has shared his intention to embark on an extensive media campaign. His goal is to enhance his own reputation as a supporter of ordinary citizens, who in his view, are facing excessive government intervention in the name of environmental protection. Sunak's government has introduced a review of measures perceived as detrimental to car usage, aiming to enhance air quality and alleviate traffic issues. Additionally, plans for significant expansion of oil and gas extraction licenses in Britain's North Sea have been unveiled. The Prime Minister asserts that the UK can achieve these goals while achieving net zero carbon emissions by 2050. Stay up to date with the latest news and never miss a beat. Hit that subscribe button and join our community of informed viewers.